Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you upward compression in Reaper. So what is upward compression? Let's start off by looking at normal compression or downward compression. I have a drum project right here. Let's hear it. So let's start off by looking at the snare. Let's sew it. Notice there's some loud hits and some quiet hits or ghost notes. Now we can compress this normally, which is going to bring down the loud hits to make them quieter or closer to the softer hits. So let's try that with a plugin. We'll go to track effects and let's search general and choose the general dynamics plugin right here, which looks like this. And down over here, we see our input, and over here is the output. And by default, it's going to be linear. On this graph, so what comes in is exactly what comes out. But if we compress it by drawing like this, let's smooth it out with the shift key. It's going to compress everything above our threshold, which is right here. So it's going to change the output of the loud notes, which we could adjust with the detector gain. So all the loud notes are being compressed, while the lower notes or the ghost notes are not. They're untouched. So this is normal or downward compression as it brings down the volume of the loud notes. But upward compression does the opposite. It'll bring up the lower notes, leaving the louder notes alone. Let's reset it, both on the PC, option on the Mac. Now, if you remember from a previous video, to create an expander, we would draw from here up, which will expand the quiet notes, making them lower. So the quiet notes are lower, while the loud notes are the same. But an upward compressor is going to raise the lower notes. So we could do that by drawing from here up. Now the low notes are going to be louder, and the loud notes will be the same. And we can make the low notes even louder by adjusting the ratio like this. Notice the ghost notes are much louder. While the hard hits are the same. But we could also compress normally on the loud notes. Just draw from here over. Now the loud notes will be compressed normally, and the lower notes will have upward compression, bringing them up. So we could do both upward compression and downward compression at the same time, still reducing our overall dynamic range. Let's check this out on a vocal. I have a vocal project right here. It's very dynamic with lower and louder notes being sung. Let's hear it. As you can tell, the volumes are very different. Some are loud and some are low. So we could use normal compression, go to the track effects, search general. 
an air compression from here, like this. That's going to bring down the loud notes and make them quieter. But we could use upward compression instead. Let's clear this and draw from here over. Let's hear the difference. Now the quieter notes are louder, while the loud notes are the same. Let's change the ratio to make the quiet notes even louder. Smooth it out. Bring down the release. And again, we can compress this normally at the same time. Right here. Let's start a bit lower, like here. Now we're compressing normally on the loud notes and upward compressing on the low notes. Notice how much more even that sounds. The lower notes are louder and the louder notes are quieter. Before, and after. So it's a great technique for evening out the dynamic range of our vocals, our drums, or just about any source we need. So that's pretty much it. That's upward compression in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.